this video we're going to be looking at the BDP picture editor. Now this is a really really nice function. It's, it's one of the best functions that we have uh, in the BDP at the moment. Uh, sort of one of the favorite functions. Um, if you have been working with images on your site up till now, you will know that the amount of things that you can do with it, it's very uh, basic. I mean you can basically add an image and then you need to go and <coughs> can edit it a bit, you can, you can uh, align the image to the center or to the, to the right of the page or to the left of the page and you can basically adjust the size and you can add a basic border. If you go into the editing, it will basically allow you to, allow you to add a border and that is just about what you can do unless you know how to add some styles, some advanced styles, which uh, most people don't really know how to do so let's just do that and I'm going to update this and refresh this so you'll see there's a, there's a very small border around this now if you go to uh, some very nice uh, websites you'll, you'll always see that there's there seems to be just a little bit more to the images and they always they seem to be looking better and you get uh, things such as text over the image and, and opt-in forms and this is what we we're trying to achieve with the image editor and right now at the moment the image editor is a sort of a standalone function but we will attempt to build it into the normal pic picture image editor over the next month or so and what you can do is you just click on the on the image and then we're going to go and upload an image and you have two choices you can either upload an image uh, right here or you can go <clears throat> you can go to a, another website and grab the link for that image or, or image on that website and you can add it in here right so I'm just going to upload an image and show you what we can do with this and I've got depending on where you are in the world uploading sometimes take a bit longer but if you work with the uh, with sort of the exact size or a smaller type size image I always I always try to tell people try to use an image which is uh, relatively uh, the same size as your as the image that you're going to be using on the page so if it's going to be roughly uh, less than half your page that the, the size you're going to put it on uh, uh, let's say about 500 it's, it's going to be less than 500 pixels in width um, so the, the the custom size for this this image that I'm uploading is about a, a 1024 so I could have actually used half the size but let's say I'd like the width of the picture to be about half the page and I'm going to make it 450 and I'm just going to tell it to keep the aspect ratio as it is so it's going to keep the relation to the the width and the height it's going to keep it the same right and then we've got a couple of choices you can either choose one of the preset examples that we've added uh, this one adds just uh, it just takes the image and add a little drop shadow um, uh, this one is going to add an uh, image inside uh, uh, the, the picture it's gonna uh, almost look like you are looking at the image uh, through a window and this one is gonna add a little uh, border to the uh, gray uh, shadow to the, the bottom of the image um, it seems it's peeling up same with this one, it's going to add a white border and some, some styling and there's another two. Now you can, usually this is some of the, mo the more common uh, uh, image types used. So if you click this and you say insert, it will automatically add those and your image will be done. The other thing that you can do is you can go into the manual mode which will <coughs> activate the different choices which you can make which relates to borders and shadows. Right, so let's say I'd like to use a ridge border or a groove border. These two, they always look uh, quite well. Uh, we'll add the all, this, all the styles that's available. Um, and let's use a nice little ridge border. And we can change the color. And what I usually try to do when I change the colors, I have to keep to the colors of the of the um, the darkest colors of the image so I'll go to uh, this sort of a red type uh, or dark brown type so let's just go down here and see if we can get something that is much more 
and mates that closely. So I'm going to use that and then um, I can select a shadow. Now it gives me the option of these are dynamic shadow types um, for which we use uh, styling and if you will choose one of these first six it will allow you to actually change the color of the shadow. Uh, usually we use a, a dark black because the shadow tends to be to be a, a more a, 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 a blackish um, a black or a grayish uh, scale but uh, you can change the you are you can change the color if you'd like if you'd like to make it red or yellow um, uh, you have the option and then the last uh, six that we've added is actually image style so you'll see that if you use use one of these it's going to create some sort of a, a lift or a peel effect so it's going to give the idea that the image is peeling up or that it's lifting in the middle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to use this one it's uh, my favorite and then I can just say what I'd like the border width around this image to be and I'm going to make it about let's make it about seven pixels and that is um, that's about that for the basic design of the image now aside from that I can add some text over the image or maybe if I like to insert a little opt-in form now um, let's call this uh, red mountain added the text inside the image and I can move this around if I click on this I can just drag this around wherever I want to do this so you can actually do um, uh, some some extraordinary things with this and then I can just add an alt tag down here for the actual image and the training is going to be available uh, inside the uh, designer as well and I'm going to say insert let's go and have a look and there is the image right so <clears throat> what's very nice about this now is that the image it has been inserted and it's got this little uh, this shadow at the bottom so it gives the idea sort of a 3d idea that the image is lifting uh, I've got the text in there I can go afterwards and I can move the text around so it, you'll see that it gives me uh, an idea exactly where in the frame it is if I'd like to move it let's make this 27% move the text around right and I can uh, and afterwards I can also um, if, you, if you when you start knowing the the plugin uh, you'll uh, learn that you can change the uh, the actual borders right here by just changing the um, changing the border classes and you can just add maybe change the color if you'd like to change something so <clears throat> very nice about using the short code is that we can edit what we've done afterwards. Now that is basically about that for the image editor.